Okay, well, of course, we're in a day and age where people almost look at you like you're wrong if you like winning. If you're highly competitive, highly driven, you want to win at almost all cost, as long as it's within your ethical boundaries. People still look at you like there's something wrong with you. They're more focused on, well, can't we all just get along? You know, there is no I in team. There's no we either in team. The only way you build a team is having each member of the team perform at the highest level they can. You take a basketball team. Do you think Michael Jordan didn't want the other members on his team to be the best they could be? For anybody that knows Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls from the 90s, they lost for the first six or seven years. They never won any championship. They didn't win championships until, really, Michael learned how to get the best out of all the members of his team. Well, then, as he started getting the best out of all the members of the team, Scotty Pippen performed at his highest level. Horace Grant performed at his higher, highest level. Steve Kerr, John Paxson, Dennis Rodman. These are all people. They're not Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is the greatest player in NBA history, in my opinion, and in a lot of other people's opinions. But that's not what it was going to take to win. What it was going to take to win was an inside your guts passion to win, to pull a group of people together and to get the best possible performance out of every one of them. You hear this in restaurants all the time. A wait staff member will take the dish out to the table. The dish won't be right. The wait staff member will say, oh, the cooks, they screw up everything. Every time, they screw it up. But yet, when it's right, I don't hear that wait staff member say, oh, we got the greatest cooks known to man. They just take the tip. But when it's wrong, the kitchen is what caused me to lose the tip. Well, see, there is no way you as a restaurant owner, operator, executive will be able to win if you don't build a team. And the team is not built around I. And the team is not built around we. The team is actually built around every member of the team performing at their highest level possible. Every member of the team wanting to perform, wanting to win. Then when you have that level of performance, it's easy to build we. And it's perfectly OK for them to focus on I you get performance. You get champions. You know, there's a saying, winning isn't everything. I don't know if I agree with that. Winning is everything. Because winning is more than just the score of the game. If you look at the great champions, winning is more than the score of the game. Winning is doing the best you can do. And if there's a possibility that somebody else is better, somebody else's team scores more points, most champions, hey, we performed at the highest level we could. And that is winning. That's winning.